Good evening. I'm Matt Risser, Mayor of Lunenburg. Thank you for joining us this evening. Tonight, we're officially kicking off our holiday season with our annual tree lighting event. 2020 is a holiday season like no other year. So it's particularly important to turn to those things that we love about it. The warmth of family and friends, even over the phone, good music, good food, and a splash of color on a cold night like we're about to do here at the Heritage Bandstand. The tree lighting has been a Lunenburg tradition for over 30 years and raises money for a local charity such as Meals on Wheels, the Blue Nose Academy Breakfast Program, and the Fisherman's Memorial Veterans Unit. Thank you to all the businesses and organizations that have participated. 2020 is providing new ways to celebrate too such as the Lighting Up Lunenburg Holiday Decorating Contest, on now until December 13. Splash some color on your home or business to make our town festive and perhaps win some prizes. Joining us here for the tree lighting is Pastor Stephen Hiltz from the Faith Baptist Chapel and Councillor Stephen Ernst, who has coordinated the tree lighting since 2013. Also joining us will be the Blue Nose Academy Choir, directed by Angela Lake, to bring some music into the festivities. Enjoy the light and have a good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pastor Stephen Hiltz from Faith Baptist Chapel in Lunenburg, and I'm reading the Christmas story tonight from the Gospel of Luke, chapter two. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the host and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. I wish to take this opportunity to thank all who have supported this event once more this year. Despite our current situation, which keeps us from gathering together and keeps us from enjoying many of the things that make Christmas in Lunenburg so amazing, may we look at these lights and remember the spirit of Christmas cannot be quelled. As in the past, money raised from the sales of these trees will go to a charity in town. Over this past year, we've all taken a step back to pay attention to our health and also to recognize the great importance that healthcare workers give to a community. Therefore, I am happy to announce that this year's funds from the tree lighting will be going to the auxiliary for Fisherman's Memorial Hospital to be used for needs within the hospital and this community. So to proceed with the moment we have all been waiting for, I would like to call on Mayor Risser to turn on the lights. Mm -hmm. 